than killing weak players. Aha! Easy. Easy? You know, that's how some people feel. Mm hmm. I don't see any islands. Is it six resources? Yeah. Okay, I'll block Bobrowski. Why would an island be better to settle than this? No one else has a coastal sip. So if I'm an island, and I kill off all the coastal cities, if they ever settle one, they can't get to my capital unless you use XCOM. I'm not selling it. It's so dumb. That'd be so dumb to settle it. Interesting. It's on a hill. War would be stupid. Last game, we decided to call a draw. Two culture players denying each other and two Patriots players denying each other. And there was Zero with his 
Nice start. Finland. Hmm. Good ruin there. Oh, and all I need is sailing tech, and I'll be godlike. Sure, went back into the water. My bad. Best sea luxury? I consider Coral the best sea luxury because you have faith from it. So you don't need a shrine to get it. To get the Pantheon. There could be an island up here. I haven't really truly scouted up there. Yeah, we got very nice ruins, like 100 gold, mining, very good ruins. Earlier game today, I also got like riding and calendar ruin, which is just phenomenal. Very lucky ruins today. Crazy luck. Okay. Potential pop ruin. Yeah, stealing Vasily's ruins. <laughs> okay, chat. Tradition, piety. Yeah, piety. We're doing piety here. Found a lot of ruins, that's for sure. Crazy amount. <laughs> 95 gold as well? Wow. Incredible. Incredible.
He went worker first into a farm? You're crazy. Who does that? Steal it? We don't want to make it easy for Baradak to kill him. Yeah, something right there is good. I could buy the amber as well. It would be pretty solid. No! Never mind. We can't get it anymore. Never mind. Any plan to make it easy for Baradak? To not? Well, it's kind of hard. One way or the other. Okay. I'll use this work boat to go look around a little bit, I think. Soundtrack's done. Um, Pathfinder Kingmaker? I guess? Nice. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there is landmass. Yep. Go to this island. Pillage for money, I'll pillage, pillage it next turn. <laughs> what? What kind of RNG is that? Oh my god. What kind of RNG was that?
I'm not buying a lighthouse. Waste of money. I need to save money for tiles. Lighthouse would be absolutely wasteful. Just waiting a turn in case I get another potential pop ruin, it would go to Appia. That's the reason I'm holding off for a second. That's three! Um, so... There are different amounts of gold you can get from a city, uh, from a ruin. It's from 50 to 100. That's, and it in intervals by, uh, five gold each. So there's a total of 11 potential gold runes you can get. I just hit two 11s, like 11 11s, and I hit one 10 out of 11. That's crazy. What made me choose Piety this game? Non, no freshwater capital. I'm not, I'm still not buying the house. I'd rather buy the sea resources. I'm piety after all. Move this way! It went down. I grab it from below. Maybe. No, it's it's running away. It's already running away. Is this forest? Good. It'll probably move back here. So we can grab it then. In a turn or so. Ocean's Bounty. Beautiful. The island is alright to settle for sure. So as long as we get there, it might be better waiting until I can actually make peace with Laventa, because if I go there and take it, I'm gonna get smacked by the warrior. So I might just have to wait a little bit before actually going there. I'm not buying lighthouse, it's a waste of money. Because border growth its piety is absolutely atrocious. For me to get these tiles won't happen until like turn 70. Because of how bad it is. Now, where's the best place to settle here? Forest kind of messes up the Moais, though. Good. No, no burbs. Yeah, it's still probably fine as hell on the on the forest. I think, probably still fine. Amber, would that be fine too? I think the f it's just gonna take forever to get the resources, but I have a lot of gold already, so I'm probably fine for it. This could be a third pop ruin. Okay. I 
Another island there too. Nice. Wait, what? Wait, what? Right away, good. Hello. With the amount of gold I have, I can probably afford these tiles. It, it might, yeah, it'll be pretty, probably okay. Be probably fine. Yeah, I like that spot. But it'd be such a good mo <sighs> Like, I still get three fish from here. Okay, chat. Amber or the forest? Pick one. Amber or forest? Two warriors now. Jeez. Not yes. Only one or the two, okay? Forest way better for the extra fish over a potential five culture tile that gives an extra one, two, three, four. So a total of ten extra culture if I were to sell the amber versus selling here, which gets rid of it. So ten culture or an extra fish. That's what we're deciding. But remember, we know our lesson from Polynesia. We don't go full Moais. We only go half, but not full. How do you make pulls again? Because I never made a pull before. <laughs> a pull for uh, the Moai... For the amber or the forests. Okay. Two cities better. One here, one here. Hmm. The only problem is, I don't know if I have the happiness for that. I think it's best just have three. Four is gonna kill me, I think. That's Corona. Well, it, it would be okay. There are three there, and Thai's there. Let me think about it. I I could I think I think four might be fine. Four cities. I think four is fine. It'll be risky, 
but I think it'll be fine. This already has two warriors and an archer. Oh my goodness. City Coastal Piety. We're not doing wide play. We want to do more tall than anything. Let's take a policy tree. I wouldn't mind trying to do tourism here, but we could do Explo with like four cities and go order for trade routes. Uh, I don't know. I'm impressed I haven't seen any barb barbs on the camp on the islands yet. Cool. Like I don't, I don't mind the two cities, amber and silver. I think that's that's all right. I think it's all right to do that. Just we're not focused on mobiles at all. Not for a lot long later till. A lot later. Move scout to coral to snipe worker for when it tries to repair. It won't move there because it already sees my city and it will recognize it as a military unit in a sense. So it won't actually put anything th up here to make peace with it. You can saw how it went down th to the horse instead of like repairing this. Because, uh, yeah. If, say, it, it made this and then went down and then I sailed after... Well, it's hard to say if it would still see it, because it does have the idea that it's there. But I'm not 100% sure if it would, even if I sailed after it didn't see it. But it did see the tile to begin with. I don't know, but we got to work her now, so we're good. We're fine. Make peace. Don't die. It's all good. Faith. Hmm... Let's get gold. Just any bit of gold would be perfect for me. <laughs> Can someone calculate the odds of getting 1 out of 11, 1 out of 11, 1 out of 11, and... What, what is 90? Oh, it's two 100s and two 95s for gold ruins. What is the odds? What are the odds? My god. That's so good for buying tiles. This is going to be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Buy a seller, waste of money. Sea tiles are more important than a seller buying. We should also calculate the odds of getting the ruins to begin with. I think the first gold one, I could not get culture or faith. So a 1 in 3 on top of it. The next one, I think you could get culture but no faith. So a 1 in 4. And then the other two are 1 in 5s. So on top of all that as well, to get a gold ruin and specifically a gold ruin and that amount of gold. The odds are low, that's for sure. I have gotten a few gold ruins. I won a bingo before for a 500, but I, I, was, t I was, it was split. 500 pot. And uh, I did go to a casino once, the first time I ever went into a casino. I put in 20 bucks. I uh, max bet... Uh, what did I max bet on? Blackjack, I think? And then I... No, not, no, it wasn't Blackjack. It was something. I think it was Kino. And I hit $200 on it. And then I stopped. After five minutes of playing the casino, I stopped and used that money to buy shoes. <laughs> I had those sh shoes for like 10 years. Maybe a little bit more than that. Hi, Romanelec. 
But in Tessian, there was four gold ruins. There were four. Two at 95, 95 out of 100, and two at 100 out of, out of 100. Like, you have to think about it. Like, getting a uh, royal flush, you need, like, one out of 52. Well, not really. One out of 13, but the other three have to be the same Sue. I like how both of my neighbors picked two pensions I wanted to pick. Oh. That sucks. Pop Ruin! <laughs> it is what it is. See where this money's going to? That's that costs like a hundred and fifty, right? Twenty four hundred and forty nine point two five over one. You worked it out. You mean one over that? Morocco, we called a draw. So that odds is like what? Very low. <laughs> yeah. Those are crazy odds then. What's this play called? It's called the Rel. Did you play Civ 6 games, uh, Frank? Soundtracks Pathfinder Kingmaker. Nice. Hello, Krogs are. Oh, and the fourth option I wanted to pick, or third rather. <laughs> Time to pick uh, God of War. Yep, so much so. Why are there no barbarians on the islands? Yeah, I definitely want to get Mandiers if I can here. Mandiers would be phenomenal here. Because I don't settle them? So they're trying to lure me to settle them?
Don't ask me why I did that. Don't ask me. I thought that was my settler for some strange reason. Island probably here. Or it could be mainland. Hard to say. No, no one has a religion yet. Spirit animals for Finland. Could be strong. Oh no, Vasily's playing. He's obviously gonna pick Mandirs. Even if he's like Liberty with like 20 cities, he'll still pick Mandirs. Just cause. Badoo! Hello! How can I? Well, find me. Slowly. Are you Kamai? Kamai? Yeah. Kamai. Kamai. I found a Kamai. Nice. Please, no plunder. So one and two more tiles, actually three, three more sea resources. How costly all that this stuff is? It's crazy. That's why I, I could not buy like big things because that gold is so good. Getting these resources now because I don't have to worry about them until later. Because if I don't have the gold for them, I won't get them for a long time. And a barb camp just spawned there. I'll have to deal with that. I was actually planning bringing this back to keep here, so no barb camp spawn and. Fire games there. Oh, well, you're four. And you have a coastal. Yeah, I got uh, four settled by Maori. It's always fun. By Norway? Yes, Norway. Norway's not in the game. I said Mori. Oh, Meowie. Not Meowie, it's... Oh my god. You're not the father? Forget about it, Dorinsky. Forget about it.
Maori? Maori, okay. Trade outs, I need a granary to do so. Nice. Beautiful. Ruin up here? No! Okay, that's interesting. Huh. That looks kind of cool, actually. Is this actually considered one island? They just made water go like all like that. Interesting looking. Now this barb camp will be an issue, unless you like a dromen or something. Maybe I should have made a dromen. I guess I could go temple, then a dromen, and then deal with it. Yeah, polder, 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 polder. So one, two, three, four, five polders. <laughs> What's this say they can make unique pontoon bridges things? Netherlands. Unique pontoon bridges are polders. It's only polders. There's another unique thing. That's a polder. Ah, uh, that's a pontoon bridge. Brunei? That's not a polder. That's not a... That's not a pontoon bridge. That's just random gunk tiles on the coast. <laughs> what is this? What is that? Oh, did I forget to do production focus? I did. That was bad. I guess I can. I have all the happiness in the world. Yeah, Droma next, 100%. 100%. Where is this ruin?
So, religion. Um... Trade route and... Mandiers. I'll show you guys some pro skills. Information bleep? Not sure yet. But good, it could be a good choice too. It could be. The artifact settled in the cattle. Nice. An attempt to buy uh, Ember three tails out through hills. Oh, yeah. Nice gold. Mm. Thank you. the plate in earth. Coastal waters near the barb camp look like a kitten. This? That looks like a kitten? Are you talking about something else? Because I have no idea what you're talking about. Clear that for the city state. Stonehenge? No. Could make it, but I don't really need it right now. Colossus, yeah. I'll say about going to that now, but I'm just gonna wait until after Grand Temple. I think I the work belt, couldn't I? Yeah, I'm the only coastal in this game. But there, there could be someone selling the coast and being greedy and get Colossus. That'll just force me to go kill that city, is all. above. 
Oracle. Rocco game, draw. Draw. Polysia Cunis, uh, it doesn't really complement Polynesia at all. It doesn't really do anything with it. It's just out of the way. On the plus side, it doesn't cost iron, so you can sort of, you know, use them with frigates if you're going for a double promo on your frigates, and yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have a big sword. It's like a, it's like a saw with things on it. That does not look like it's... wait, does it? It looks like a blade with little... Like, you know, um... Like, one of those... Hmm. Well, you know what it looks like. The things. Yeah, Sheik Tarp. Teeth or whatever. You didn't get it? Who beat you to that? Vasily. Oh, damn. Ah, finisher. There's a turn in me. Seems you're having a sad game. That's right. Is Dire Factor Rel again? He doesn't have 30% happiness. Come on, 100 gold, 100 gold! Ah, oh, we did get gold! There's only 65 this time. That would have been too much. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you can make piety work if you get 700 gold for free from ruins. Natural Wonder or Mountain Island? That is a Natural Wonder. Rock of Gibraltar.
If I'm lucky... Oh, that's Hyrule. I should get it then. I did. It's barbed there, though. So one last sea resource to get. One last one. Then we have them all. Well, this guy will survive, whatever it does to me. Enhance or Mandir and Cap? Probably Enhance first. Grab Pagoda, I guess? Yeah, Pagodas would be fine to pick. Follower production? Mmm, I think Pagodas would do more. Found it. This guy's on his suicide mission to grab the ruin, and that's it from it. Nothing else to can. Well, if it moves here, we can probably get away. If we this scout also moves down, doesn't slam me. We can get away that way. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to be able to. You know, if you turn this upside down, it looks like the helmet uh, the Sparta Leonidas wore. Little mark above the eye. Maybe if I wait here, it might come down? Maybe. Looks like Mew. Well, if you look at it like this, sure, but I mean, like, if you look at it, if you turn your head upside down and look at it, it looked like the helmet from Sparta.
Whenever I get uh, theology down a turn. If I made the library, sure. But yeah. Citrus, wine, cotton, gems. Citrus, wine, cotton, gems. Citrus, wine. That's it. It's the only one. He needs to accept this turn. Awesome. It will give me a different King's Day quest for the capital, but it will still finish. Actually, I lied. Never mind, I'm a liar. It was supposed to be this turn. Going to the next. It's not moving. I don't think I can get that one. It also looks like, um... I don't know, if, if you ever seen the movie, um... No, never mind. <laughs> Ghostbusters looks like the Marshmallow Man doing the Hulk smash. It just does not want to move down. Pain Elemental from Doom Eternal. I was going to say it looks like if Akira from that movie, the big thing, turned into a, uh, I don't know, big thing like that, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, so Akira, yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't understand this kitten you see from this. What kitten? Akira? So it looks like General Baradak got Petra, meaning he probably has great land.
Oh, does anyone remember? Has anyone played Seventh Sega? At all? It's a SNES game where you can pick seven different heroes, and you have to go around collecting runes. In the first castle you go to, the boss of that castle looks like that thing with its arms attacking, going up. It's already its body. Sorta. <laughs> I'm sure there must be at least someone in chat that plays 7th Sega besides me. There has to be at least one person. That's science. Just a crab, that's it. Nothing else. I'll probably make, uh... Colossus here. Might have enough now. Next turn I will. The reason I'll make it here because I have uh, religious tolerance happening and all the... stuff is giving me extra production, which is pretty nice. One extra hammer, so I get two hammers for... for for uh, the fishing boats. I don't see this cat. Oh, you mean this is a cat head? Is that what you meant? A cat head? Not like the body? Liberty Petra. That looks like the engineer in his capital. Found a boat. Why AP instead of swords? I don't think I have the growth for everything. Like, I'm not going to be able to grow forever, because I'm on four cities. I'll just have to ally city-state somehow. Mercantile one, specifically. If I had two more cities, yeah, I probably would. Maybe work ethic, maybe? Yeah, I'll be buying Mandir first. Maybe. It's gonna be kind of pricey, though. Because I don't have the cheaper purchasing policy yet.
plus one. If you have a lot of studies, it could be quite good. Quite good yields from it. Is 42 the earliest great person spawn from Maya's unique ability? No, you can do it earlier. There's turn 35. There, like, just type SMA Shark Maya, it'll give you the turns. I think you can even do it earlier than turns 27. I believe that's the first one I have on my list. Just, I don't actually know. Or 22, yeah. There's probably earlier than 22. Probably. But good luck getting that. I've hit a few turn 35s before. And the thing is, you have to enter the tech two turns before uh, that specific mine calendar. It has to be two turns before. Nice. Not nice. I could try and make it in my capital. What you do is play a six player game where five other players are on your same team and they all are Babylon. So you just get each person to get one person to get a great library to get philosophy and then they all just keep all their scientists to get the theology. No, what you do is get Krakatoa Spain and then you just get Maya to go kill a city with archery with archers, because they can just spam archers. You get another person that's Spain to uh, give that other Spain player uh, settlers. <laughs> so he keeps conquered from Vortex and whatnot. Yeah, Krakatoa could spawn anywhere without needing a land a land mass next to it, so it could be out in the middle of the ocean, just being there. Yeah, probably the fastest way to win is to cheese it hard, hard, hard. Like, make it one city that's OP, that's not your capital, just an expand that, you know, can one turn Oxford. Every time you make Oxford, you just get that city to someone and get it back, and you keep making Oxford over and over again each turn.
Cost maintenance? <laughs> yeah, good luck there. If you saw a Spain uh, if you saw El Dorado first, Spain, you get thousand gold. Yeah, I played a, a vanilla game, and we did random, and Tom was in the game, and he got Spain. And then he saw Grand Mesa first, and he's like, I'm not that strong, guys. No, I'm not doing too well. He gets first to a religion, turn 39. Yeah, okay. Did I ever try to come up with a new sieve for the mod? Me? Coming up with a new sieve? Not really, no. Next turn I can buy the thingamablobber. The man deer. Improve the stone first, get the stone works out. Compass for more gold for my sea resources, because literally every one of them is improved. I could actually lose this. Ah, crap. I thought that was a warrior, not a hand axe. Oh boy, we could lose our we could lose our spearman. We a hundred percent could. Damn. Oh my god, Lodowski. What's up? Oh, you have a move up. Nice. Oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted is for Japan to have a new unique unit instead you know, of a samurai. The and stuff. The yeah. Unique. Yeah. I wanted uh, a unique unit known as the Gundam that replaced a giant death robot. Gundam that inside here. It would have 500 strength, uh, 500 movement, and quadruple blitz. And, and ignore his own control. Gonna do tourism? I'm gonna do tourism. You're gonna do tourism? Yeah. Ah. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to do tourism as well, so they have to keep uh, both of us alive. Oh, that works. And they'll go super unhappy if uh, they go something else. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually going to make happiness like first. a terrific plan to me. An amazing plan.
Any quests or trade routes? None. Actually, clear the camp from me. He actually cleared the camp. Hmm. Hmm. Burdock's Pantheon? Happiness from whatever. More happiness than synagogues. Love really shouldn't be a pantheon at all. It should not exist. Ten. Five. Seven. Well, it shouldn't exist because it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, still. What one the one to the great lighthouse if I do? Awesome. That'll be helpful. Event as well, which is alright. Get some faith return from that. Ally with Timurids. Lucky lucky. I'll push the pagoda now, but I'd rather wait. Yeah, he did take the camp after I helped him. He did. Let's not forget about yesterday or the day before where he pillaged a trade out to clear and warn me. And saying, oops, I didn't mean to take your uh, caravan. Scumbag is what he is. Narel scumbag. Worker. I'd rather just get Aqueducts done now. Get them all up. So I take a Bob's not having the best of games. How many cities is he on? I'm surprised how low the production for Bardock is. 
think it should be higher. Yeah. Ten cities, hundred thirteen production. What's that? He is unhappy. Mm. Uni first? Not right now. Mister, we can go into top seven. Some of the things, right? Yeah. Be a shame if somebody got Berber. I appreciate him. Um, when going tall, how do I decide if I go university first or workshop first? If I have enough production to make the universities fast enough, like let's say I have a bunch of stable tiles for my cities, then maybe I just go stables and then go into unis afterwards. Because it's the difference of stables versus workshops. If you have a lot of stable tiles, then you can probably go unis even with a wide play. You can still do just straight up do stables and just ignore workshops till later. I'm doing tall, yeah, but I'm still doing workshops. Because I got iron working right. So it's just like, could get this stuff, like four techs just to get there. It's fine. And I have population for my cities, which, you know, could go to unis right now. Not a fan of that barbarian camp spawning right next to me. Interesting. How do I decide? I literally just said sables or workshops, and it depends if I'm doing tall. Typically, tall, I like to go universities first because it keeps your game rolling fast with the unis and science and all that, if you have tall cities, whereas if you're small, for each city, it's going to take like 20 turns to make them, and if they're like 5 pop, I don't really want to work university slots at 5 pop, or rather grow a bit, and by going growing a bit, I would just go to unis uh, workshops first, because I can grow more during that time to unis. And it helps make the unis faster. With the workshops up. Moais and Islands? Eventually, yeah. Make a few Moais here, then I'll bring the two over there. Spawn a profit next. at Bowman.
I guess I'll keep this up here and protect my trade routes. Oh, but I do want to profit, that's perfect. Bohanyo also wants a trade route, which I can do as well, which is pretty nice. Boss used to, yeah, when it first begun. And then when the NQ mod came out, there was a streamer panel at the bottom where I could click on at the bottom down here. And it will show what policies and uh, religion picks I have. So there was even a time. Uh, there was a time where no one needed to update any commands. How to get it? Yeah, the best person to ask would be Hellblazer. I think he has the stuff for it if he really wants to. But you have to get Hellblazer online and you have to talk to him somehow, <laughs> which could be tough. Boring. Boring or they just? I said boring. Why don't uh, they just war? I don't know. Do you want them to war? It would be fair to the rest of the lobby. So send to Mohenio for now. Yesterday I ended up beating, uh, Pretty much all the endings for near replicants. So I'm done with that game for now. Pretty good. Two hammer stoneworks. I gotta get a stoneworks up one way or the other because I'm gonna replace with the moai. Why gold trader out? Because it's a quest for the city-state, and I wouldn't mind getting more happiness. So I'll be able to get my King's Day quest next turn. Your favorite building is Stoneworks? Hmm, what would my favorite building be? Be your mom.
Feed the world wouldn't provide enough food for your mom to grow. Profit next turn. Gold quest, eh? How long? Ah, that kind of sucks. Did not grow, unfortunately, because the trade ended right when it wanted to grow. Come three tiles away from your camp border. Yeah, I know. I just hope they go bug someone else. I guess I'll go make a horse minute, because I'll go smack it. Quest of Baku, so that's pretty awesome. I can ally that pretty easily. Maybe another one back to my capital. I don't mind that. So you have education or no? Who? It's you at education or no? No, not no.
Worker next. Mm, yeah, I guess I could make a worker. I guess I should. Getting pressured by his stupid religion coming to me. Why is my luck this bad? All the time. My luck is always this bad. Always this bad! I like to spend my money on Baku. Arifax, tradition. Liberty, piety, tradition, liberty, aesthetics, tradition, tradition, aesthetics. Yeah. What is with everyone going for the camps I fight? Like, this is like the third camp that people have tried to take from me or taken over the past, like, last two streams. Actually backed off.
don't think I'm getting Angkor Wat. Yeah. Anchor Watt gives 5 culture, 5 science, a uh, great scientist point, and a free university. Another horseman. Watch it still kill this. Even though it doesn't see it at all. Don't think I'm converting that. Get rid of his religion, which I don't mind. Past the pile, snow is buffed. Got plus five, it's a plus four from all yields. Uh, by itself, no. It has a program. I'm running my computer, which sends it to Nightbot when I pick a policy. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna get attacked by Darifax Barbarians he cannot keep under control.
Do you see this um, re-expand uh, with Grand Mesa? Grand Mesa? No, I haven't yet. So basically this expand is like, I don't know, like 10 tiles away from some of the rest of his cities. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it on the coast? I don't know yet. Is it only me on the coast so far? Yep. From what I can see. Makes it easier to musician bomb each other. Am I right? Yes. Like I don't know what he's trying to expect. Oh, you working on my camp? That working on my camp when I do all this work for it, and then he takes it right before it dies for me. And now he's complaining about this camp that was here that I already killed, about how how I should be dealing with it after helping him with his luxury thing that he wanted earlier. Just full of it, isn't he? to Pillars of Eternity soundtrack. Oh, easy. Let's do that. It's not coastal, but it should have been a coastal, I feel like, if he was already sitting there. Would have had three fish tiles. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two people entered acoustics.
Gonna pretend we won in Morocco? Maybe. We technically sorta of did. Can I once in a worker? I cannot. I wonder if uh, Mao Maori got the. or tried to engineer the wonder. Looks like he didn't. He did try to start making it though. If he had to engineer that turn, he could have potentially gotten it. And the main reason I'm saying this statement to Dartifact is to make him try to make units just to bring stuff over there. Only realize the camp's already gone. Last game command, uh, yeah, draw. Draw. So, 5th in production, 5th in production, top in tech. One twenty six ninety three seventy. no quest here. Jade, rubber. Oh, that's rubber. Anything for rubber? Um, if you wait a turn, I'll, I'll, I'll have a candy for my capital. Okay. Let's see what's there. But nothing so far. 
You just got a job delivering pies? Pizza pies? Nothing, but you can give me whatever it's in GP, I guess. Okay. Not whales. Though. No whales? Yes. What does OCC play mean? One city challenge. Found the ruin, but seems pretty tough to get to. Another trade route next turn, if I choose to make it. It seems like there are better cities for Petra, but I don't know enough intel if that's the case or not. Because his cap's only 10 pop, and he got, he got Petra there with the Liberty Finisher. Today was such a good day outside. Too bad I, I'm playing Civ. It's like the first good day in this year.
What do you think I should put in the Congress? Yeah. A bird axe, Lux? If you have a wonder, you can put nature wonder in if it sucks. None. It's kinda... doesn't do anything, really. Mm hmm Heritage size is good. Not cultural, not... Cultural? No way. <laughs> well, I don't know, poof or lich or something. Yeah. Or... Damn free drugs. It's probably not so good for you. Maybe. Globe gone? I think Globe's still there. I'll do a cargo shipment app, yeah. Move it to Unukahiva and send to my cap. Yeah, there are a bunch of other aesthetics players. We have... One, two, and me for three. Can I grow? I was looking at it. It's possible, but there is not enough time to get a trade in for citrus because no one has it. No. Yeah, I could have if I worked the tile. Like, yeah, I could have. No one has architecture yet. Killed a spy. A finished spy. Nice. Lucky me. Guess seems there seems to be more desert tiles here for the capital. Just really small. It's really small. How do I tell if no one has tech? Um, you look at the columns. Twelve eighty-seven. This column is 9204 for four city play. It increases for yourself every time you sell another city by 5%. Um, but if someone had a tech, it would be a bit cheaper. It'd be like 8 8, whatever. 40 science cheaper. If you look in this column, it would be a bunch of different ones, like 603, right? With me getting us 889, right? Makes it cheaper.
but if someone else enters it, it'll go down by like 40-ish more. It'd be like 8-5 something. Yeah, in a six-player game, it goes down by 30% divided by the amount of players in the game, so six, so 5% per tech. Single player, yes. 22 techs is much cheaper, like in the same column that's different, it's a compass and optics, they're a different pricing than the other techs, because they're water techs. You can look here, like it's, it's a bit different. Well, obviously it's super cheap. Okay, chat. Porcelain or Ufizi? Pick one. Porcelain or Ufizi? I have five luxuries in my capital. That's 15 science, 15 culture. I'm gonna do ooh, 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 porcelain. you like a hokia What is the worst natural, national, and world wonder in the game? That depends. That depends. Nice pull. <laughs> like, every answer can depend on many variables. Like, is that straight up always going to be the case? Because it's not always going to be the case. Because let's say you have 300 happiness, do you need Circus Maximus? Not really. You don't need it. Unless you're uh, Bolivia with your anti-tank guns that get five, get two strength for every five happiness you have. Then sure, it could be okay. But if you're not that, then maybe not. Panama Canal? Yeah, may, I, that's probably the worst. I don't see any use out of that. I think the gold trade route probably works, just hidden.
Yeah, I found that Grand Mesa city. Looks uh, fun. Mm -hmm. Are there yields on the coastals? What do you mean by the yields? Moai, we're not going ham. We didn't go straight to it because it's just stupid going straight to it. Which one's the best natural wonder? Everything... Okay, there are no bad things. Everything has its... Dif there's only differences, okay? And because there's differences, there's different strategies that make something better. That doesn't make one the best of all things. Because that's not the case. Like, if you're going for early Pantheon, and maybe you can't make shrines at all, and maybe, you know... Selling Uluru is better than selling Kilimanjaro. So Kilimanjaro can give you enough culture to get to Piety faster to get that Faith per turn. Maybe then. But Uluru gives you that Pantheon in three turns, right? So you want me to uh, do a permutation of all the possible combinations to calculate which wonder is the best from all types of strategies you can do? Is that what you want me to try to answer? That's the answer you want? On average, which one I think is best? On average? <laughs> average. Average to me? Average to you? Average to who? Everyone? Average of everyone's average? <laughs> Damn, so got tech. Hmm. Would the turn zero settle or not? Not really turn zero, but turn one or two. For a second expand? I like Kailash. Great faith. Uluru could be good too. Because with a faith, you don't really have to rely on a pantheon that gives faith. You could do something else. But likewise, maybe Behringer could be good too, just for a wonder. Like rushing to like Vetra or something with an expand. Like I did my uh, 
Egypt, uh, Russia game earlier. I mean, natural wonders are there. Uh, I don't know how many there are, but I can start naming them off. Grand Mesa, Uf, uh, 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 Uluru, uh, Sinai, Kailash, Behringer Crater, El Dorado, Rock of Gibraltar, Krakatoa, Great Barrier Reef, Solomon's, Lake Victoria, Old Faithful. Fountain of Youth, Sarah de Potosi, did I miss any? I was gonna say woo woo. <laughs> I say Great Barrier. Oh. oh my god. The best natural wonder? Great Barrier is pretty awesome if you settle it early. I think we try and do some really crazy strats, like really crazy strats. Um, like, first policy open is Explo, then maybe Spain with Krakatoa, and then finding a Great Barrier Reef with your scout, and then you buy a settler because uh, you somehow made enough gold to do so, and then you settle it, and then. Uh, you can go into theology the before your first policy, happy. maybe? If you get great library? <laughs> What's up? I think uh, Bardock is a bit unhappy. Ah, he is. I'm getting kind of low myself. I wonder if I can engineer a globe theater. Hard to say. No luxury for you, but if I do, I should probably take you back. might get your uh your wish. Which one? Adam might not come back. Was it my wish? I think it was. Did I say something like that? No. I don't remember. No okay. great. Why do you think he's not coming back? Because it shows him not uh not online right now. 
What is the best way to play the game on average? Do tradition, for city, into rationalism. That's the best play on average. No, 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 no. If you're playing vanilla, the best play on average is to go honor, get your general, and then general... Uh, you sell someone's capital, and then you general their capital. That's the best play on average. You just settle a city next to them, and then you just general into their land. G -g -g. I need Jade. That's perfect. Fun. Yeah, I think our game's going okay. I think uh, Bardock's game's going a lot better. He has all the land. Like, you know how typically when Tom gets good land and he has, like, land for, like, 20 cities? That's Bardock's position right now. So he's a little bit unhappy, but I think he's still doing well. I'm bottom in hammers. Somehow, Dartifact has more than us. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. When when Dartifact has more hammers than you, that's never a good sign. I feel like Bardock's game would have been so much better if he's just gone patronage. Probably. It's three cultural city states right next to him and the mercantile as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'd probably make like 170 gold with trade routes and all that. Yeah, but more so had the happiness. Yep. I don't know, aesthetics is kind of like... Maybe we'll do something different. It... Yeah, but... What aesthetics... I never see it perform well unless there is like a certain set of suits it well. Braddock only knows how to smork. Yeah. What about Silly? Yeah, I don't know. Liberty Piety? No Patro? No, I don't know. No two cities irrelevancy? What's, what's that? <laughs> I think he does do like Liberty every now and then. Yeah, I remember the last time he played Liberty. Were you in that game? I don't remember. Maybe. Where he was... I think... Did he kill Dartifact that game as well? Was it Dartifact in Vatican? Oh yeah! Yes, yes, it yes, was he Babylon. was... Yes, Babylon. Yes. Oh my god. That was unfortunate. He just got Taj Mahal Where's too. Ziggy got mad. <laughs> Yeah, this, to and this the, toy seems he, like he just had an internet issue. To me the moment uh, he took Ziggy's cap, that's, that's fun. Right, you were in Norway on the coast, my neighbor. Yes. That was a fun game, wasn't it? That was so boring. <laughs> This is unfortunate. What civs do I like to ban the most, on average? From what I can remember, the civs minutes. people love to ban... France? Brazil? Lithuania? Gauls? Hmm, what other civs do people like to pick? Mm. 
Maybe uh, like it's mostly France maybe and Brazil. Taj makes him uh, lose connection. Yeah, instead of a golden age, it's a dark age where he has no electricity. And that uh, Pacific, it's probably a tsunami hit his empire, power outage and all that. Very early on, before Brazil and France always got banned, it used to be India and Indonesia. It used to be India and Indonesia all the time. Why India? Because that's the first sip I never wanted to play again after my very first game of playing India. And Indonesia because back then, I really hated their colors. It just looked so bad, I did not want to play Indonesia because the colors just look so bad. It was offensive to my eyes. Damn. Hmm. He did get chicken pizza and Taj, so I don't know. Yeah, I think he's still kind of relevant for sure. Yeah, he is. I mean, to a degree, but he can still do like the RT stuff. I don't think he's doing that because, well, he has architecture for whatever reason. Oh, he's back, he's back. Wow. So I've just uh, recently learned that uh, Purify's name is Michael. What is his last name, Myers? I don't know. Just his first name being Michael opens up so many opportunities for memes. What I like Lithuania so much because it's different from every other Civ where you can't find a religion, and they get stupidly OP uh, great tile improvements known as Sacred Groves. Like uh, Agent Michael Scorn. I know what your name is. What's that, Patrick? It's a uh... It's Olek. Wow. He he gets error. Does he? Do we reload or? Or maybe he tries to human invite? Maybe his friend to do that. I guess we... Damn, I should not have rolled the, the turn. Yeah. Oh. 
One happiness on average? Flight of whales? Are you sure about that? Because each wonder naturally gives one happiness, right? Because just seeing a wonder gives you one. If you're Spain, you get two. Someone should calculate the average yield you get from a luxury tile. Like, you add them all together and all the improvements, and I wonder what the average is of just the improvement on the tile and what the tile gets extra from the resource. All together. Like, the golds and all that. Average is 4. It's actually a little bit higher than 4 because Netherlands gives you one extra happiness base. Like, what, we've been lobby sim, in a sense, for like 20 minutes? Painful. What's the maximum yields from a Lux without a great person tile on it? Obsidian or marble with a rock hewn? Without a great person tile on it? On a luxury? Um, it would be a city with tradition. With patronage as I am. With 20 food city states. Welcome back. Yeah, for every two pop in a city as tradition, you get one gold on the tile. And with the uh, with the city state ally or friend of food city states, it puts food to the tile as well. So with Siam as tradition, with like twenty food city state allies, it'd be like what sixty? No, it would be like seventy-five extra food on the tile. If we're, if we're not including cities, then what would it be? How does gold on the tile affect external trade routes? Basically, 5% of the gold you make in a city gets added as a trade route gold. That's how much you can make from it. So you make 1 20th the gold of a city that your your city is making. So if it's 20 trade routes, you pretty much make what your city's making just from that ability just from that little thing alone. Um But it would be something with like religious tolerance of two pantheons that factor on top of the same luxury with porcelain tower. What else? Hmm, science bond in the lake. Finland put that in? Oh no. Mm hmm. And he's on seven cities, right? 
guess he's gonna try if he's gonna put that in then he's probably gonna try sissies how does it help it's because... oh, oh. I, I i don't understand that's all i can think of thank you new son it slows down people's signs so he has more time frame for sissies yes Thank you, Nusan. Thank you for two months to let you know, Nusan. You are the rank one sub player in the world. Thank you for subscribing. On average, sissies are the best unit in the game. They are. On average. Other than nukes. I, know, I think he sends really bad. Yeah, I think generally it is, but I think he just wants to try to do some kind of sissy play. Yeah, Expos uh, longbows best. Depends on the terrain, but I don't think they're the best. Not even, no. No. <laughs> no. No. What's the meaning on life on average? On average? What's the average of zero? MP's overrated with the mod and how fast it is? Yeah, they're not as good as they used to be. They are still very strong and you definitely do stuff, but I think you just go into a rail town if you try to do MP's all day. When, when the game was slower, where like timing attacks were, were like more valuable over the course of like 20 turns of like two turns it's much stronger because mps are good till like what potentially great war infantry dark has 1100 culture generated maybe he's doing tradition into uh freedom uh perhaps can you even do that possibly If you're fast enough, maybe. Oh, in, ba in base game, MPs were strong. Same with Berserkers. They're both very good plays to go to do. Yeah, I know it's missing. It's only worth one culture, or two, I guess, in a little bit. It's not too necessary right now. Trade requests at all? Profit again. No trade requests. Okay then. MPs can still wreck town. Like, if you go for MPs, like, you're. <laughs> It'll be very hard to stop them. That's fun. It seemed real. So it shows them in 
still so shows them online, but who knows. Crossbows? Not really, no. No. MPs have bonuses against them and they get three movements. They like get two hit and they are dead. Like two MPs hitting them, they die. For the front line, yeah, yeah, you know. You know, my scouts are really good at killing stuff if I have, you know, land ships in front of them. Why is he wasting our time? Let's see he's in line. Yeah, show some Z Z Zing. Maybe in the phone? Who knows?